Mango Math, Helping to Grow Math Confident Kids presents Nerdle the Turtle, a kindergarten activity. Nerdle the Turtle is a kindergarten activity that falls under the math strand of algebraic thinking and it adheres to the common core standard of an algebraic thinking activity that has students decomposing numbers less than or equal to 10 into pairs in more than one way and requires Nerdle the turtle has some math terms that will help promote uh, mathematical thinking, and that is add-ins, any number to get a sum or total, and sum the results of adding. So you'll use these words while you're working with the students to help increase their understanding. Supplies that are included along in the um, plastic envelope along with the instructions are a Nerdle the turtle laminated board, a dry erase marker so they can write on the board, an eraser cloth, a uh, numbered spinner, and some bicolor counters. To do the activity, students will have their Nerdle the Turtle 10 frame board and a spinner. And they'll spin their spinner, in this case it came up with nine, and they'll move their counters onto the board into the different columns and rows until they have all their num all nine counters on the board. Then they'll write down how many is in one column, in this case there's five, and how many in the other column, four, for a total of nine. Then you'll ask if they can do it any other way and they can see that they can move one counter over and they now have four and a four in one column and five in another column for nine. Now nine creates it in a situation where that's about the only way you can do it and you can talk to the kids about adding ones onto the column that are outside the column um, and that's perfectly fine so they can see more combinations. Numbers such as uh, numbers less than nine will be a little bit easier to get more um, combinations because you can have let's say six and you can have five plus one and four plus two and so on. Um, so once they've done that a few times, you can all different variation, which is using as a 10 frame board and you spin your spinner and you get nine and you place nine counters of one color on the board and then that extra space is another color and you're only working on sums that make 10 and they'll see nine plus the one equals 10. So you can do it either way um, with this 10 frame board, just as long as they're composing and decomposing numbers um, to see that there's more than one way to get a total, the same total. So enjoy the activity. Critical thinking questions to promote some guided questions to promote critical thinking. And that is what different number combinations can you create that use the six count that use six counters? So good, have them think back about what they had done with six counters or eight counters. You can make up whatever number you want. How many more counters are needed to make 10? from the total of six or whatever number you were given. And how does the number six compare to the number five? An example answer would be six is one more than five or five is one less than six, but just for them to have an idea of where one number is in relationship to another number. It's a great game or a great activity to do with the kids